Some nights I dreamt of a lover who would beat me wrong. One that would abolish everything I ever stood for. I knew to be loved squalid. I knew to be loved rash. Dreamt of a lover who kissed like the moment before impact, like before I knew how to remember that this is supposed to hurt. Part two. Ropes for hands says, <clears throat> ropes for hands, woven into safety net, says has done this to catch the flip-flopping acrobat backflip of a mess that is me, stumbling over a withering tightrope, wind before storm, airbags waiting for car crash, reminding me that love does not have to hurt always. This poem is titled, When You Piss on a Tree Outside a Dog's Home, You Are Bound to Hear Barking, An Examination of Territorialism and Asking Permission. <laughs> We have been trying to strip this grit from our palms and places that were left soiled by your spoiledness and selfish standings. We have been trying to sew ourselves solid while standing on swamp that has begun to stale. And yes, I am talking about you, you vile creature who chose to violate the territory that is another's body. How dare you trespass against us and ask to be forgiven, you, you, you who wakes up to wet sheets after dreams of colonization. I mean, I bet you thought that was power that possessed you. That night you got the wood floors all muddy by refusing to remove your boots after the storm. I bet you thought your stomp was cool. I bet you... I bet it made you feel real strong, too. You thought that was power that possessed you. No, child, that was selfishness. You thought that was power that possessed you. No, child, that was foolishness. You thought that was power that possessed you. No, child, that was a neurosis. And thanks to you, we're all getting possessed, too, putting up fences to shut ourselves in. Say it's to keep you out, intruder. You does not wait for permission to come inside you, incapable of adhering to the manners of a vampire. Who are you to refuse to knock and then ask us not to alarm our neighbors of an intruder? Who are you to tell us to weep our lips together? You, who come piss on our homes and call us bitches when we bark. What happened? Did you see our teeth and think maybe it won't bite? Were you that foolish to think your hand was a big enough muzzle? Watch us as we cock our heads back, ready to snatch. How could you not know? I'd, ra I'd be proud to be a bitch if it meant it I would never be battered by you again. Mm -hmm. I just wrote that. Um, this poem is titled, Accept. Rest in the heartfelt, raise your voice and sing to the restless. Find solace in what you have been blessed with, breathe in the way we melt. Under restress of astral belt, pick at tension of this mess. That is healing of this flesh, soak into your almost awkward pelt. You are ardent now, you are well restored, you are steadfast and hollow, you are slow poor, well rested. <laughs>